this is the best Fedora Hyperlens setup that you must try in 2025. In this video, I'm going to show you customizing your Fedora workstation to achieve a modern look. But thanks to the GitHub developer, JA, the installation process is automated, allowing you to set up Hyperland within a few minutes. First, make sure you have a fresh copy of Fedora Workstation on your PC or laptop. In my case, I have already installed the Fedora 42 alongside Windows 11 on the same drive. This is a dual boot setup. The first thing you should do after installing the Fedora Workstation is to update your system by running this command. Then install TimeShift, a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your system. This backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing Hyperland. Ensure you backup the entire root system and home directories. Then click on Create to take a snapshot of the current state of Fedora. Additionally, backup any important files to external media for extra safety. Next, go to the settings and select power saving. Then disable dim screen, automatic screen blank and suspend options. Now it's time to set up a hyperlink environment using an installer script created by the Maverick developer. Visit the GitHub page and read the instructions to understand how hyperlink works on Fedora. Now go ahead and copy this command, then paste it into the terminal. It's going to clone the repository and launch the installer script to begin setting up hyperlink. You will see a new command line interface appear. It's most likely based on n curses. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options, spacebar to select options, and enter key to confirm selections. Now press enter to start the script. The installer will automatically detect your current login manager. In my case, it's GDM. Since Hyperland requires SDDM, the script will prompt you to install it. However, GDM works fine for us, so just press Enter to continue. Next, the script will detect your NVIDIA GPU and recommend installing the proprietary drivers. Press Enter to confirm. Now, you will be prompted to add the current user to the input group. Press Enter again. You will see a list of installation and configuration options. Now use the spacebar to select items and tab key to switch between options. I'm selecting everything including NVIDIA driver support, GTK themes, Bluetooth, Tunor file manager, Hyperdots and more except the ROG option. If you're using an ASUS ROG laptop, go ahead and enable this option. Now once you have made your selections, press the tab key to highlight OK button and then press enter. Now confirm your choices and enter the admin password if prompted. Once the installer starts, it will download, build and compile the core packages from sources. Now be patient and respond to any authentication prompts. While the script is running, make sure your laptop is plugged into a power source during the process to avoid interruptions. Next, you will be asked to choose the keyboard layout. I will stick with the default US by typing yes and press enter. Then select your monitor resolution to properly configure your display followed by your clock format. 
It's recommended to disable rainbow border animations to save CPU and memory resources. Finally, you will have the option to download additional wallpapers. Once the script finishes, you will be prompted to reboot. If you see a message saying that all packages were installed successfully, everything worked as expected. However, if you notice any failed packages, simply rerun the script and investigate any errors. Now make sure all packages are compatible with Fedora, then reboot your system once the issues are resolved. On the login screen, select your username, then switch the session to Hyperlink. And enter your credentials and press enter. And voila, now you are inside the Hyperlink environment. Now this is the most powerful Hyperlink configuration you have ever encountered. The developer offers you the freedom to customize the system, modify the VBAR layout, change wallpapers, and perform numerous other tasks. After setting up Hyperlane, the first step is to press the Windows key plus H. This action will display a list of key bindings related to specific applications, shortcuts to open wallpapers, and other configurations. I recommend reading this list and memorizing some shortcuts. For instance, to close any app windows, press Super plus Q. Then pressing Super plus Enter launches up the Kitty Terminal. Here you can see the Z-Shell environment. Now let's increase the font size of Kitty Terminal. In your home directory, there is a hidden folder named config where all the hyperlink configuration files are stored. Now type this command to navigate into config directory. Then open the kitty configuration file and locate the font size setting. Now change the font size value to 20. Then save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. Then close terminal by pressing Super plus Q and reopen by pressing Super plus Enter. You should now see the increased font size. To edit the Hyperlane configuration files, press Shift plus Super plus E. You will see all configuration files organized neatly. For example, open the Keybinds configuration file to modify the default keyboard shortcuts. Now let's add a keybinding to open the Chrome browser. Assign Super plus M as the shortcut. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and exit with Ctrl plus X. Now switch to a new workspace using the workspace switcher. Use the empty new workspace, then press Super plus M to launch Chrome. You can also switch between workspaces using a three-finger swipe gesture. Now to change or update a wallpaper, press Super plus W. This action brings up a panel to choose the wallpaper. The source for these wallpapers is the pictures folder. Add any wallpaper to this folder. Then press super plus w to find and apply it. Now pressing super plus shift plus w allows you to add the wallpaper effect. Now, by default, natural scrolling is disabled for touchpads. Press Super plus Shift plus E and open the user settings file. Then press Ctrl plus W and search for input. 
then locate natural scrolling option under touchpad and set its value to true. Then save the changes with Ctrl plus O. The changes will take effect immediately. Hyperlint allows you to change the themes using GTK settings. Press Super plus D to bring up Rofi App Launcher. Then open GTK settings. Select widgets and choose the style you fancy. You can also increase the size of the mouse cursor, change icons, fonts, and much more. To customize the Vapor layout, press Super plus Alt plus B to choose a Vapor layout. For example, you can move the Vapor to the bottom using the bottom layout. For now, I'm going to choose the top minimal long layout. Then press Super plus Control plus B to change the Vapor style. On the top left, clicking on the Hyperlint logo opens up the Rofi app launcher. The Vapor also provides more system controls for connecting to Wi Fi, access the notifications, and opening the power menu. To learn more about Vapor customization, check out the video by JA. I will leave a link in the description. Overall, Fedora with Hyperlane.falls offers one of the best desktop experiences. And that's it for this video on installing and customizing Hyperlane on Fedora Workstation. A huge thanks to all the developers who contribute to making Linux beautiful. Don't forget to explore the GitHub page for more insights into the Hyperlane configuration. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Rio. I will see you in the next one.